I'm Dr. Dennis, Recovery Coach here at Sunshine Coast Health Center in Powell River. Welcome back to part two of Inspiration and Balance. This week's material uh, focuses on a couple of uh, aspects around developing more inspiration in our lives. And one of them is uh, the stories that we tell ourselves or the beliefs that we have. This is a good, a good uh, reflection point just to really stop and think about what stories you tell yourself, what your beliefs are, and then to just kind of take a moment and decide whether you actually, whether there's truth to them or whether those beliefs or stories are still serving you in a good way or if it's time to kind of let some of those stories go. One of the ones that occurred to me that really sort of popped out in the material uh, was the one around you know, I have to look after everyone else first before my own needs are met or before I can meet my own needs. And I think this is fairly common for a lot of us. Um, we look after everyone else but ourselves. We put ourselves on the bottom of the list. And especially if we have loved ones uh, in active addiction or early recovery, you know, our focus is so much on them a lot of the time. And we forget about ourselves and our own health and our own well-being. So really take some time if, you, if you're so inclined this week to really think about that and uh, decide whether, you know, now's the time when I should be, you know, looking after myself, doing things that really nurture my own well-being. The other one uh, that's connected to this is the roles that we play and that we assume in our lives. You know, we all have things that we have to do. We have uh, jobs and um, we're wives and husbands, brothers, sisters, uh, fathers. And um, sometimes we can get quite attached to those roles or they can kind of take over in our life and they become a real main focus for us. And so the, uh, the material just speaks to, uh, again, thinking about that and, you know, looking at you know, is my focus really narrow? Am I just focusing on this one aspect of my life, my, my role as mother or my role as father or my job title? Um, and forgetting about the fact that we have so much more to us, that we are so much more than what we do. Uh, so again, another uh, reflection point for this week. In closing, I just wanted to um, quote Ralph Waldo Emerson uh, and one of his quotes and it's actually part of a larger quote but I've just taken the first part of it and that is um, insist on yourself never imitate and to me that really spoke to what we've been talking about here um, you know am I fully expressing who I am am I living authentically you know am I taking time to think about who I am and what I want and what I need and am I devoting time to myself to really taking care of those those wants and needs uh, that we have. Okay, so uh, again, thank you for joining me and uh, I'll see you again next week.